Look at these beautiful bones. Well, maybe not yet, but they will be by the time we're done with them. But even more importantly, a couple of these bones are going to become essential fleshing tools for scraping, cleaning, and preparing animal hides. I'm Luke, this is Wilderness Strong, and we're back with more bushcraft, nature, ethnobotany, and wilderness survival. Now let's get to work. We'll start by cleaning up this deer rib bone with a stone scraper. These bones were specifically used by Native American cultures for this exact purpose. Using some sandstone is going to allow us to get into some of the more curved or concave areas that the stone scraper couldn't quite get to. Now we're using sandstone to dole down the top so it'll be easier to handle with our hands. A nice piece of leather will help us buff it up and make it shine. Sharpening the edge of the rib bone here so we can really scrape the hide well. We use scouring rush for sanding, but it's also effective for doing some extra fine sharpening on the edge. We're going to use a few different saws to cut the rib bone to size. The first you might have seen before in several of our previous projects. We broke it off of a giant stone down at the river and it's proved to be one of our best tools. We want to make the end smooth using sandstone again. We're going to go ahead and add a lanyard to go around our wrist, so we use a graver stone to put a small depression in the bone where we're going to drill. That way the drill won't slide all around on us. Okay, we're going to prep our stinging nettle cord and tie it onto the rib bone. We're just going to test it out here on an old tough hide that we had. We know if it can handle a hide like this, it'll have no problem with fresh, softer hides. So amazing to us how Native Americans made everything they needed to live. And each thing they gathered from nature was done with great appreciation. Here's another stone scraper we're going to use in making a second fleshing tool. I mean, while we're at it, we might as well make two. Have we mentioned how great this scouring rush is? Okay, this is looking like it's almost complete, but just for comfort and some extra grip, we want to put some nettle wrapping around both ends of the scraper. We thought we'd go ahead and show the simple way that we tie the stinging nettle cord on. In wrapping it around the rib bone, you actually got to pull much tighter than it appears here. And then near the end, simply put three or four half hitches on it. Then after trimming it with a stone, we sometimes choose to put some pitch on the ends and rub a bit of dust into the pitch so it won't be as sticky. We rub the pitch between our hands to warm it up and make it more pliable. And here's the finished product. Now beaver jaws were also used by the Native Americans specifically for scraping hides. The sharpened tooth works great for cutting away the fat and stubborn gristle, and even to thin the hide where needed. First, we need to clean up the jaw with some scrapers, as well as do some polishing and sharpening. You can also pull this very long tooth from the jaw for convenience sake when you're cleaning and sharpening. This tooth is doing a great job taking off the excess layer on this old hide. Okay, we're calling these tools done. Time to get moving on the next project for you guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Do you like what we're doing? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming up.